now it's a beautiful day to be on the beach. See the jet skis way out there fishing. We had a dolphin out there. Not too crowded, everybody's keeping their distance. Water's pretty calm today. Yeah, beautiful. Love it. So now we're on our way to Sebastian State Park up here. Meet up with a buddy of mine, a buddy of many years, Gary. He has set up camp over here at the campgrounds. And we're gonna pop in and do a little visit, take a look at his setup, and uh, enjoy this fine Sunday. video when we were out on the boat we were right out there. You see how they're trying to dad 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 ah. This is a really nice uh, quiet campground that's right there on the intercoastal waterway. Nice clean sites, water and power, sewer. So like I said, this is my uh, longtime friend and buddy, Gary. And uh, this is your rig, huh? That's it. This thing is nice. The other cougar. And I love the campsite. Man, it's nice. It's nice. Anytime I'm around the water, I'm good. You know, it's, it's so nice and breezy and cool out here right now. Still a little warm out in the sun, but this is tolerable right here. Not bad. Not I bad mean, in the shade. For a little while. In the sun, <laughs> it's a little bit hot. <laughs> so uh, this is a cougar half ton. That's it. One bedroom. You want to let's take a look at it. All right. Take a look at it. We're gonna take a look at it. Yeah. We're gonna take a look see. So you were telling me this is basically a, a 22 foot. Um, yeah, it's a 22, but it's a little bit longer than a 22. And the cool thing about this thing, uh, and most of them have it already, is the, you know, the interior, exterior speakers. It's got, you know, a bunch of different stuff, and we like the fact it had dual axles. Just a, a just right for us. All right, so you get a nice awning here, a breezy day. Now, is this awning yeah. on an auto retract, or do you have to pull it in? No, it's an auto retract. It's got a, it's got a actually, wind, wind it's got this neat it. program. You go inside and you punch the computer and you can turn on everything, off everything. It'll You can Bluetooth it and oh, do it from me. your phone. And it's pretty cool. Holy cow. Okay, and this is your water heater? That is the water heater. And it's gas or electric or both. You got some outlets over there as long as, as well as a cable hookup. Yeah, Linda puts all her colored lights on there. I, get, I take it that's where the kitchen is. Mm -hmm. Get a vent over the over the range. Over the range, and then some nice outdoor speakers. Do you have any? Oh, is that all LED up there? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. Got a nice ladder here to access the roof. And it is a walkable roof. And now your your power here. This is a, what a 30 amp. It's a 30 amp. Works out great. We've got the the dog bones to switch it up however we need to. Oh, good. That's your refrigerator. Yep. Yeah, as soon as you unplug it from the shore power, it turns over to automatically, automatically turns into gas. Goes. Got a 41 inch slide, which is pretty big for a 22 foot camper. That's all electric here. Yeah. You can operate the slide Bluetooth as well. Your water hookups out here, outdoor shower, yep. city connect. Hot and cold. And you got a solar, free water for solar mm -hmm. here, huh? Yep. That's nice. The storage. Storage, it's a mess in here, but it's a. Uh, it's a throughway. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, it goes all the way through, huh? Yeah. So you got two bottles of propane? Two bottles, 230 pounds. 230 pounds. The battery there for any got the, these are nice to have. Very nice. Our last trailer was hand cranked and it was a bear. So this one but push buttons and then the front lights up up here in orange. These LEDs oh, yeah. here. And then there's another LED that goes across the top. So when you're when you leave your camper yeah. and you Turn them on, then you can look around and say, oh, there we are, you know. Okay, let's go inside and take a look at this thing. All right, a little bit of leaves on the floor. So, hey, we're camping, right? What is this we're looking at? This is the uh, the connect, turn this on, and there's your all your details. So here's the lights, we need a little light in here. We're gonna turn, you all check your- control lights. Yeah, check all your tanks and your everything. So, you know, here it is, three burner stove, oven, microwave. I don't think this is a convection microwave. We, that's oh, got rid of it. Um, stainless steel double sink, which I think is pretty cool. There. And you got a cutting board, my wife won't let me cut on it, which is okay. 
she won't let you cut on the cutting board. <laughs> no. Don't cut it on the cutting board. Don't cut it on the cutting board. AM, FM, CD, or uh, CD, is it a DVD? No, we had to buy an extra DVD, so oh, we had got a Blu-ray. And, uh, and then it came with a 40-inch TV, so we traded it out because uh, it wasn't a smart TV, it was a dumb TV. So we, yeah, you got to have a smart one. We pulled that out and, and put the Sony in there, I mean the uh, Samsung. Samsung. Yeah. And uh, all up in here is storage. So we got all the DVDs up here, you got storage in here, storage here. The bed lifts up. Uh, it's storage great. under there. Yeah, big storage under Barrett's here. Barrett's got a nice little step up over here. So this is the slide out. Yep. All right, now when this slide out is in, are you able to still access everything? So the slide will actually come out to here, so you can't get through there. These recliners, what's... Say if you're out fishing all day and you gotta, you just whipped, and you go take a nice warm shower, crawl in this recliner, put the vibration on, and you can put the heat on. So you can just chill out here, especially we used them a lot when we went to the last campground, when it was warm, I mean cool, and we actually, uh, sit down these things, turn the heat on, and it's just like, okay, it's too early for a fire, but we got our chairs. And by the way, the air conditioner in here is awesome. It is central air. It is nice. Central oh, it's central. Yeah, yeah, it is central. Yeah. No hot spots. Nope. All adjustable. So 22-footer, it's got a pretty good layout. Um, you know, everything is easily accessible to get to, and you even have a little breakfast bar here with some stools overlooking the sink, you know, great gathering place to chat and talk in the morning and have coffee. And the nice big TV put in here, you know, the smart TV, that's a must nowadays. I really like, what is that, walnut stain? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, walnut stain in here on the cabinets is a nice choice. And uh, front. you've got a panel, in the, and it's also glazed, so it's stained and glazed. You've got more storage down here below. From the kitchen, you can see the TV good. Out, they have a huge window over the bed that you can see out of. Lots of visibility, lots of windows, lots of ways to bring in the air and the sunshine. That's an overhead lighting. Up top here, we got like a vaulted ceiling or a cathedral ceiling. It's kind of arched over like that, which I like a lot. It gives you a lot of bedroom. And you got your furnace vents down here on the floor. The refrigerator is over here, so that's uh, that's probably a really good place for it because it's right behind you and. If you have two people working in the kitchen, you can have somebody on the cut board and somebody is not right in your way or you need to get out of their way so that they can get into the refrigerator. The backsplash is pretty cool. It's not paper. It's not wallpaper. It's actually a piece of backsplash there. So, you know, little touches like that, if you see my other videos where I review other RV products, that is the big difference. You know, this countertop, for example, this is not a laminate countertop. This is uh, a solid molded piece. It's not Corian but it is a solid piece and water is not going to get under here and this to, uh, this would delaminate if it did. A nice wide bed with lots of storage it's underneath. Actually a king. It's actually a king bed, RV king. Yep. All right, Gary, we've got your bathroom in here. Nice big, you already, now before you bought this, did you actually stand in the shower to make sure that you fit the shower? The shower fits you? I certainly did. You know, it <laughs> it's important, man. I like the uh, faux. Yeah, marble. I don't, I don't like those hobbit showers. No, <laughs> no, you want to be able to reach your toes without pressing ham up against the, the cold glass or the wall. <laughs> Got a foot flusher mm -hmm. and it's a porcelain toilet. Which normally you get a plastic. Yeah, metal fixtures, that's another biggie of mine. Get on in the shower now with clothes and shoes. Florida attire. Ta-da. Yeah, you got plenty of room up there yeah, for your noggin. You can nice. Put something real big in here. Yeah. The salesman and I actually became friends, and since I make my own barbecue sauce, well, he's become addicted to that stuff. So we, we uh, I don't know if we're friends because I make barbecue sauce, or just friends because he... Gary, I think you have a lot of friends because you make barbecue <laughs> sauce, and you're always barbecuing on that big green egg, and... I'm telling you. Make it put posted pictures on Facebook, making us all hungry. I, I can smell one of my pictures and gain three pounds, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, Gary. Yeah, you seem to be pretty fond of this unit. Like it a lot. What are some of the some of the touch on the high points of what sold you on this unit and that you are still really happy with? I cook a lot, so the galley in here is pretty decent. If you want to do, if you do happen to be rain or whatever, and you've got a cook inside, it's not a bad place to be. Uh, the king size bed. Uh, the other trailer we had, it was a little bitty bed and two grown people, and of course the dog was going to get in there too. The tow capacity of this thing is great 
toes like a dream. Of course, I didn't know that till after I bought it. What's the it. weight of this empty? Uh, 5,600. Okay, so, and do you have onboard water tanks and fresh water got, and black yeah, tank? Yeah, we've got black tank, gray tank, what fresh water. I think the gray tank and the black tank are 30 each, and the water, the, the potable water tank is 60 gallons. And uh, hot, water is, hot water is six. I think that's about standard for yeah, most of your, your trailers. Is it aluminum hot water uh, tank? Yes, it's aluminum. You know, it, the ladder being able to get on top to do maintenance to it, it's a walkable ceiling, like I mentioned earlier, and it, it's just the, the best. Just an all-around good trailer, and it's not too big. Because you get some of these campsites that you get to, you can't get one of those humongous trailers in unless it's a pull-through. Yeah, that's true. And a lot of people don't think about that until they get out there on site. You know, they buy a super long Class A or a super long travel trailer, and then they have a long vehicle to pull it. And then they try to get in between the trees of some of these state parks and national parks, and it's, it's a job. Yeah, and the slide out's 31 or 41 inches. Now, as far as the generator and boondocking, uh, solar panels, yeah. is that something that you would have to set up yourself? Or do they have that option at the dealer? Or You can do it at the dealer. Um, we looked at probably six other travel trailers that were different configurations of whatever, and, and I think Lynn and I both kind of locked up on them when we saw this one. It was like, okay, we like the colors, we like the, the, the way it's laid out, we like the, the full head, like the full galley, the king size bed, everything just kind of met all the criteria we were looking for. Okay, so here we are back outside. So Gary, if there's one thing that you don't like, because you seem to be awfully pleased, tickle pink, uh, with this unit, what would you say is the one thing that irritates you or that you're not happy with, you don't like, whatever? Okay, the only thing that I would complain about is the the air conditioner when it, uh, the condensation drip, they've got the vent running right over the top of the access door to the storage, which kind of makes it a pain because when you're trying to get something out, it's splattering all over you. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy. I understand that there are... And that's are, the storage that goes all the way through, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in the comment section below, you're going to have to chime in and tell Gary what he needs to do to address that little problem. Please do. My dear friend Gary, thanks for having me here today. I enjoyed it. It's good to see you again. It's been a few years. About three, dude. And I'm sure uh, the viewers here appreciates the walkthrough of your rig here, and you seem to be awfully happy with it. We appreciate your feedback. And I uh, hope to see more of you and Linda. Yeah, you there. need to... Linda back there. Need to make a venture over to the to the ranch and we'll out to the ranch. Cook up some food. We're gonna we're gonna check out the vignettes. Yeah, Linda's some, vignettes. Some of the creativity and design work over at the ranch. But uh, I at, wouldn't I wouldn't take anything for this. I mean, I, I was like, hopefully Bobby can make it by because you live up the street and I've I had to. I live right up the street here. I miss it. I miss the full timeness of it all. You know what I'm talking about. It's good snook fishing out here. Good red fishing out here. Good snapper fishing out here. This Florida. Stay home. Good time. Stay home. Oh, and by the way, we've been uh, practicing safe distancing and quarantine back home. We both have, so we know we're probably not at risk. And, uh, but anyway, I'm just coming up here. I'm going to stand over here for a while. Okay. Right. Yeah. We'll just continue to visit with me over here. Sure. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much, Gary. You know, when you're touring an RV that's actually on station set up, functioning the way it was designed to function, you really get a much more realistic impression of its form and fit for you, you know? Especially when you're walking around it and walking through it and you're talking with the owner and not a salesman. The owner's stuff is in the RV, you know, taking up the amount of space that it would realistically. If you tour an RV in an RV show, you know, they got a little plant on the table and, you know, it looks very clean and roomy and everything because all your junk's not in it. <laughs> <laughs> that you're gonna take with you on your trip. So when you go through somebody's RV that's actually set up and you're dealing with the owner, you get the truth from the horse's mouth right there and you get a great feel of what this thing is realistically like out on site. So there were a number of things about this unit that I really liked. Um, for me, for my purpose, maybe me and one other person, there was plenty of room. I was satisfied with the tank capacities and the weight capacities. And it was wise of Gary right off the bat to take those tires off and swap them out for some brand new Goodyears that were rated for an RV. I was satisfied with the quality level when it comes to materials inside the RV. Um, you know, they have to keep these things as light as possible. There was a fair compromise in weight to quality 
where it, it matters most. Something else I really liked was the convenience factor of everything being Bluetooth to your phone app. Retract or extend the slide or operate the lights, operate the awning. Everything that you can do on that panel as you come in, the control panel inside the RV, you can do with the phone app. And oh, I forgot to ask Gary about the levelers. Gary, are those levelers automatic, um, electric, obviously, but are they automatic or are they manual? You got to go out there and crank them out. And if they're automatic, are they also Bluetooth to your phone? <laughs> so drop us a comment down below, Gary, and let us know. I forgot to ask you. If any one of you have a similar RV like Gary here and uh, have offer a heads up on any particular area of the RV that he should pay attention to or any tips or advice for him, um, please drop us a comment down below and let us know. I'm sure Gary would really appreciate that. So anyway, that's all we got for you today. Thank you for watching. Please smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you will be notified when I am uploading another video and possibly giving something away again like I will be in the next video. So stay tuned. I'm Bobby Jean and this is Great Therapy. A little overexposure. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Am I supposed to be looking at you or the camera? You can do both. Gary, I appreciate you having me here today. I'm sure everybody, uh, wait a minute. <clears throat> I, I feel like a Baptist preacher. I know. Over here. <laughs> Uh, okay,